Hi, welcome back. So in this example, we're going to do uh, we're going to do another example of music with rests. Uh, this time, you know, we're still going. Actually, you know what? We're still going to be working in four four time for a little while longer. Uh, mainly because I don't think we've done an example yet with a whole rest. So I want to get uh, get into doing an example with a full measure of rest, with a whole rest. So um, anyway, let's uh, let's work on let's work on one. So let's start this out with let's start with a rest. I don't know if we've done that yet. I don't know if we've started a piece of music yet with a rest, but let's start this one with a quarter rest. Quarter rest. Now I don't think this is a rhythm we've seen yet either. Quarter rest, then two quarter notes, then another quarter rest. And that's our first measure. So there we go. Then we'll say half note, quarter rest. quarter notes. Then how about we do the inverse of this measure? So we'll do quarter note, quarter note like that. And you'll notice since we're doing, I'm saying we're doing the inverse of this measure, so we're going to make, we're going to have two, uh, two quarter notes and we're, well, we're going to have two beats of rest on the inside, but we're going to be, I guess, bounded by two quarter notes. And I, I want to show this to you, and uh, I want to, uh, real quick, and kind of explain a couple of things about music engraving uh, that I guess this will get into a little bit. Um, but uh, we could just write this like our half rest. We could just write a half rest in there, couldn't we? Because we're just resting in there, and we just have to rest for two beats we could just write our half rest and then have a quarter note on either side, couldn't we? It would be the same thing. And I'll, here, I'll even write the, the beat analysis for this, for this measure. So on beat one, we would play that quarter note. Then we would rest beats two and beats three under this half note. And this three should be in no man's land out there. And then we would play again on beat four, that, that quarter note. And that would, that would be right, wouldn't it? And, and yes and no, this, this is correct, this is correct, and if you wrote this down on a music test really anywhere before college, this is uh, probably absolutely accept acceptable. One of the things I do kind of want to tell you, and uh, we'll get into this much more, prob definitely we'll get into this in the arranging playlist, but, uh, and particularly the commercial music arranging playlist, but... Uh, the thing about doing this is there's this thing called the third beat rule for rest writing. And it's something that uh, when I was in college, the textbook we used was the Gary Lindsay arranging textbook. And he has this rule, and I'll kind of I'll, I'll out, uh, outline it down here in yellow real quick. But pretty much the Gary Lindsay's rule says that if you if you have a measure that's, you know, if you have... Uh, maybe quarter note dotted half. Well, actually, you know what? We haven't seen dots yet, have we? So this might not be the best example to go talking about right now. But uh, anyway, Gary Lindsay kind of has a a um a bit of a a bit of a mantra for dealing with rests on the third beat, and kind of what, or I guess it's not just rests. I guess it's anything. But and kind of what he says is that you should really go out of your way to try to write in something on this third beat. So if we have, you know, like this example here, I'll just write this example here that we had. We had quarter note, half rest, like that, and then quarter note at the end. And I want to tell you, so this this is correct. This is, you know, this, this works well for, for music. And, you know, kind of... As far as engraving rules go, this, you know, is kind of kind of a no-no because there's a, because beat three is in no man's land. Beat three, you're resting, so let's just write in real quick. One, two, three, four. 
beat three is kind of in no man's land, and that's kind of uh, kind of against the rules a little bit for arranging. And it's just because the reason that's sort of against the rules is if you're sight reading this, and this is sort of the the guy that taught me arranging in college uh, was really big on this. When you're arranging something, the goal of your arrangement is for uh, is for good musicians to be able to look at the arrangement and read it right on the first try. That that is the goal of of, uh, of writing music for for this arrangement. And the reason why we would write out each individual rest in this example is because um, is because it's just easier to look at very quickly, you know, instantaneously, like sight read it. And we, we're, I'll get more into what sight reading is and another video and probably another playlist, but, uh, you should, uh, this figure is easier to sight read than, um, you know, this figure is easier to sight read than, uh, than if we were to write a half rest here. So if that doesn't make sense right now, that's fine. We'll get into it later, but for right now, I'm just going to kind of say that, in this example, we're going to just write out those quarter quarter rests. Okay, so let's just erase this real quick. There we go. And I'm going to just write out these quarter rests. If that confused you, hopefully it didn't confuse you, but if it did confuse you, um, and actually, you know what, I've kind of been drawing these a bit too weird. I shouldn't have this, yeah. I've definitely been drawing these weird in this example there. So don't need to have that extra little tail at the bottom. And in these ones, put my little thing at the top. There, that looks a little bit better. So anyway, hopefully I didn't confuse you with that. I'll do it actually right after this uh, this video, and probably I'm running out of time, so we probably won't get to sing through this example in this video. But um in the next video, we'll uh, we'll delve a little bit deeper. In the next maybe couple of videos, like not the one right after this, because I think we'll have to continue this example into the next video. But uh, in the next couple of videos, I'll I'll go over this rule a bit more. Uh, so hopefully, I'm not confusing you by by giving you that information right now. Uh, and hopefully, we can go over it uh, more in a future video. So anyway, I'll close this measure off, and we'll continue down to our second line. So, here's B1, and let's actually put our whole rest right here. Whole rest. Okay. Measure two. Say half note. Half rest. All right. And there, let's just say we're done for right now. And actually, just to make this a bit more interesting, I'm going to put in a, a two-measure repeat. That's what I'll do. I'll put in a two-measure repeat that'll start right here. And I like kind of doing this with the brackets. So I'll put the brackets in. One dot, two dots. And... The end of that repeat is right here. One dot, two dots. There we go. And I didn't write anything else, so that just means we play the contents of this repeat two times. Okay? So anyway, I'm kind of running out of time right now, so I think we'll save doing the beat analysis for the next video. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.